Hi kids, uh, teacher Donovan here. Uh, hope you are all having a good Sunday so far. Um, I don't know about you, but I am and have been just super hot. So I hope you uh, have tried to find good ways to stay cool and uh, yeah, not get super sweaty um, like me. Um, but I also know that a lot of you guys have started your spring break and uh, don't have to deal with school and all that, or hopefully it's coming up. Um, but yeah, this is the start of summer and uh, I'm happy and hoping to again see all of you pretty soon um, if I haven't seen you guys already. So yeah, um, I guess with that, we'll go ahead and jump into our uh, lesson for today. Uh, so if you remember last Sunday, teacher Alex, uh, he taught us about how God used Elijah uh, to show the Israelites that he was the one true God. Um, if you remember, King Ahab wanted the Israelites to worship Baal, who was, you know, a false god. But after putting God to the test, he showed his true power by sending down fire and rain, um, proving to Israel that he was uh, Lord and the only true God. Um, today, we're going to continue learning about how God continues to show his power and protect those who believe in him. You see, God had a lot of enemies, and their main goal was to try and make people stop worshiping God. Uh, the enemies were mean and weren't afraid of lying or even hurting people to get people to do what they wanted. In many ways, God's enemies acted like bullies. And one of the biggest bullies we're going to learn about today is uh, a group of people called the Assyrians, who were led by King Sennacherib. If you remember from many of our previous lessons that God had a chosen uh, group of people that he called to follow and worship him alone. And those people were called Israelites, who lived in a land called Judah. The Syrians, you remember those who, who were bullies, planned to attack the Israelites and take their homes and hurt people. What's even worse though, is that they wanted to take away the Israelites' faith in God. So before they attacked the Israelites, the Syrian king surrounded the walls of Judah with their massive army and sent a message to King Hezekiah, who was the king of the Israelites. The Syrians were smart and they mixed truth and lies together and told King Hezekiah that God was upset at them and that their invasion was proof that God was mad at them. They also said that if, if Israel resisted the attack, they would suffer and go hungry. But if they would trust the Assyrian king, they would have peace and be happy. Hmm. You know, to end the message um, that the Assyrians had for the Israelites, they said they have never been defeated and that even God was powerless against their mighty army. Hmm. What was King Hezekiah to do? His enemies were great, his resources were very low, and his people were weak and scared. King Hezekiah had a lot of doubt and he responded to God or and he responded by going to God's temple to pray and tell God all about it. King Hezekiah told God how he was feeling and asked God to make all the kingdoms know that he is Lord and more powerful than any king and any army. The Lord responded to King Hezekiah through a prophet named Isaiah who brought God's message to the king and said that he would personally help him and that the mighty Assyrian army would be defeated and that they would all go away. But there were so many more Assyrians than there were Israelites. Could the Israelites really make them all go away? The Israelites couldn't, but you know what? God could. God sent the angel of the Lord to come down and he slaughtered 185 Assyrians in one night. The next day, everyone understood that the Lord was the one and only God who was all powerful and who loved and protected his people. After the war, God would continue to bless the land of Judah and he restored to provide food after it was destroyed by the war. So to end our lesson today, we learned that God displayed his power by rescuing the Israelites from the Assyrians to defend and display his glory. 
He proved to the Israelites that he loved them by listening to them, protecting them, and providing for them. His promise to save all of those who trust in him is even true today. And if you ask God to save you from your sin and trust in him, he will save you like he saved the Israelites. That's our lesson for today. Hope to see you all again soon. Peace.